We watched practice. Yes, it is day one of training camp. What were your big observations from the first day? Yeah, helmets and shorts, a lot of the guys you know, understand that they're not going to really prove to the world they're going to go 20-0 today, but it's the building blocks. And this team understands that each practice, each time they come out, even if it's just helmets and shorts, they have to get better than they were yesterday if they want to compete. Looking at what this team was able to put on the field, Joyke Bell is a guy we noticed obviously out to start camp. Some of the names, some of the big plays that made fans do and out that you saw today. Oh, Eric Ebron, he's the guy that everyone wants to emerge yeah. as a playmaker. Yeah. He didn't really do anything in his rookie season to qualify for that 10th overall draft pick a year ago, but he went over the top. Stephen Tullick today had a really nice catch in traffic and the oohs and ahs. And of course, there was that one deep bomb. Stafford to Calvin Johnson <laughs> down the sideline and double coverage kind of made you cringe a little bit like, oh, I hope he doesn't get too comfortable. But when he makes those types of plays, this offense can really take another step. It does. And Jim Caldwell talked a lot about what Matthew Stafford can bring to the table, making some bold proclamations just moments ago. He's a guy that, that does have what it takes to win. You know, we're interested in this championship quarterback. He has the necessary qualities to be just that. A talented guy, tough guy, and I think you'll see he'll improve this year. He'll get a little bit better, and after a while, there won't be so many questions about it.